Russian weapons will be used against Western countries. Medvedev threatens the US again. Last statement by Russian President Vladimir Putin that our country can begin supplying weapons to those forces that are at war with the collective West indicates a significant change in the country's foreign policy. This statement was made by Deputy Chairman of the Security Council of the Russian Federation, Dmitry Medvedev. According to the politician, Western countries are convinced that they can transfer any weapons to Ukraine that is to the enemy of our state. At the same time, the collective West is convinced that other countries should not help Russia, even if they have friendly relations with it. In fact, we are talking about ensuring only the right of Ukraine to use any weapons against Russia. However, this cannot continue indefinitely. Let the United States and its allies now feel the direct use of Russian weapons by third parties. These individuals or regions are deliberately not named, but they could be anyone who considers Pindostan and its comrades their enemies. Their enemy is the USA, which means they are our friends stressed the deputy chairman of the Security Council of the Russian Federation. In addition, Medvedev wished that the use of weapons supplied by Russia would be as destructive as possible for the opponents of our country and the enemies of the regions to which these weapons will be supplied. And let the sensitive objects of the states supplying weapon to Kiev burn with those who control them, Medvedev added. Note that Russian President Vladimir Putin allowed the possibility of sending weapons to those regions that are fighting against countries supplying weapons to Ukraine. The Ukrainian military is unable to use long-range Western weapons on their own because all decisions have to be made by countries that supplied them, the Russian president continued. As I have already said, a flight assignment is required. And in fact, this is done by those who supply these weapons, by the Pentagon for ATA CMS and by the British if it is Storm Shadow. Putin explained. Russia, since 2022, has repeatedly warned the US and its Western allies, including France, against partaking in the war, emphasizing that it will defend itself in any way possible. It also stressed that the West and NATO have been playing a direct role by continuously aiding Ukraine with advanced weapons and military equipment. But Russian military expert Colonel Vitaly Kizilev said that more than 1,000 French mercenaries are currently present in Donbass. We already have data that more than 1,000 French mercenaries, legionnaires are in Donbass. This is true. As far as I know, there are also prisoners. There will be more to come, he said on the Solovyov Live TV channel. According to Kizilev, special units of a number of European countries are now present in the special military operation zone. I think America is pushing through the situation to come in under the guise of instructors for training. These are Romanian instructors, these are Polish instructors, Estonian instructors, instructors of Baltic countries. They will enter the training grounds in western Ukraine to train personnel, Kizilev added. Simultaneously, the French Foreign Ministry has refuted the existence of French mercenaries within the Ukrainian armed forces, attributing such claims to Russian disinformation. Several statements released ever since the beginning of the Ukraine-Russian conflict show that Kiev's western allies have mercenaries fighting in Ukraine. In mid-March, the Russian Defense Ministry announced more than 14,000 foreign mercenaries arrived in Ukraine to participate in hostilities against Russia. Ukrainian Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief Alexander Sursky said that he had signed an agreement that would allow French instructors to visit training centers in the country. Earlier, the Russian Foreign Ministry issued a statement in which it called the claims made by French President Emmanuel Macron about the possibility of sending French forces and contingents of other NATO countries to Ukraine irresponsible. It noted that the Western mass media had published information about the presence of a number of mercenaries from the French Foreign Legion in the Kiev-controlled territory. Earlier this year, Russia said its forces had carried out a precision strike on a building housing foreign fighters in Ukraine's second city Kharkiv. The defense ministry said the fighters were mostly French mercenaries and the building was destroyed, with more than 60 people killed.